I just had uh, two failures on my NA Cubic i3 Mega, and I'm only gonna. Sh I'm sh the reason for sharing this short video is because it's gonna happen to a lot of you, I think. But basically, I was in the middle of a 28-hour print the other day, and the wife told me the machine had stopped. So when I went in, I looked, and it had stopped. Everything was completely normal on the screen. It looked like it should be printing. Nothing was moving. Bed was cold. Uh, extruder tip was cold and it was just sitting you know where where it was midway through the print and in the end uh, the, the the clue since there were no error messages here oh and since the screen was lit and I could go in to settings and I could move things axis wise all the motors are running but I could not make anything heat up not the tip not the bed nothing that, the clue for me was when you looked up at the screen and you have your your set temperature and then your actual temperature and the actual temperature even on a machine when it is turned off let's turn this one on even when the machine is turned off you'll see that it's going to show the room's ambient temperature in this case 25 celsius in here well, I noticed that on the bed side, see this is the extruder side, on the bed side that it was zero. It wasn't zero in the house and it didn't agree with the tip one. They both should be very close to ambient room temperature. So that told me that either the thermosistor and the board had failed or the wires between the machine and the thermosistor failed. And being that the wires bend on this machine, because the bed moves, I figured it was probably the wires and it did end up being the wires. These are not the original wires, you know, and the reason for that is after I'd repaired that break in the wire, which was right about down here, and printed for two more days, then the machine had another failure, which was this morning, which the lower bed wouldn't heat up. It had the set temperature, the thermosistor showed the proper room temperature but nothing was happening no LED on the back of the bed never got warm nothing progressed knowing that everything was probably fine in the machine I figured it was another broken wire and uh, actually uh, when I got back around to look at it real close not only had the black which is the ground wire to the bed broken it while it was breaking it gotten hot enough to melt all the way through the the plastic and everything that comes on the machine normally there's a plastic shroud around those wires so that told me that two wires of different gauge breaking at the same thing, that there was a, a problem with the wire that they use not being flexible, or in this case, I actually think it's aluminum wire, which has uh, been plated to, so it can be soldered. And so it's very brittle. After it bends for a while, it's gonna break. So I'm assuming that everybody that has this machine, unless they've changed these wires, they're going to break on them eventually, and you're going to have a failure. Um, what I'm going to do on mine is, you know, the cable chain wrap that you can put around things that looks really cool. Well, it also performs a function in keeping things from bending too tight. I've ordered some of that and I'm going to extend it from the bed back to the machine and run my cables in there. And these are just flexible wires that I've pulled out of my junk box, which I may or may not replace depending, you know, when the cable stuff gets here. We'll see how these held up. But I also added a little metal tab to the uh, screw mount, there's a the shaft for adjusting, added a nut and a little metal tab to strain me leave my wires straight out the back because normally when you get the machine the wires are cable tied and stick out sideways and then this bottom one is cable tied and sticks back and it makes for a, a, a lot of extra bending, a lot of flexing here and a lot, of more bit, a lot more bending there. One other thing you might do on your machine is the, the original cables that are in here if you cut that cable tie, you'll find you could pull out another three, four inches of, of cable. You could get a bigger loop, and the bigger the loop you have, the less likely it is to break because it spreads the bending and flexing over a larger area. So, just a heads up, guys. Love this machine to death. Its printing accuracy is just freaking incredible. Its dimensions are great. Its final products look great. But uh, having just had two failures, both having to do with the wires that run up to the heated bed you might want to think about replacing those or you might want to think about making sure that the loop is extended back as far as it can possibly go